John Lightbody. Who are all these people? Hi. We're John and Julia. Our brother called in and gave us a shout out. We're oh, you two. Okay, so I have to I have to ask you in person then. Um, and be honest, raise your right hand uh, and swear to me you're not a Macklemore fan. We are not. No, I'm not a Macklemore fan. Okay. Never. You swear <laughs> upon the holy, uh, the Martin Luther's relics. You are not a Macklemore fan, yes? Yes, I swear yes. I'm not a Macklemore fan. Okay, then it must be true, because you wouldn't take that oath if it wasn't. Um, well, it's great to see you guys. Uh, what, uh, What? yeah, wow. Who, who was it that called in earlier? What was the name again? Our brother Kai. He's right, he's coming. That's right, okay. Well, that was very nice of them to uh, ask for the, for the shout-out like that. That was cool that they did that. We just, we just came back from school and he was like, hey, look at this. And he was like, Johnny, Julie. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if it wasn't a very good pl uh, shout out. I was so I had like just woken up and I d was not making sense. <laughs> no, it was great. Oh, cool. Oh <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, you guys are in school. Or are you guys in high school or? or... Uh, we're both in middle school. Middle yeah, school. I'm six, he's an eighth. Oh, no kidding. Wow. So you guys, wow, you're like younger fans of ours. That's crazy. Yeah. That's really cool. How? Just out of curiosity, how long have you known about Mega Sixty Four? Oh, uh, I've known for a while. My brother first showed me about, I'd say, four years ago. Wow. So man, it's been a long time then. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, that's you know, me for me, for, uh, you know, four years isn't that big of a thing, but you're pretty young. That's a chunk of your life right there. Um, that's crazy. Well, that's really cool. That's really cool. Well, is there anything you wanted to say? To the stream, any shout outs you want to give, or did you have a question, or what What do you want to say? I was wondering what, like, your most embarrassing moment in, like, middle school or high school was. Ooh. Most <laughs> embar that's a good question. Most embarrassing. Middle school, I'm going to say, uh, when I went, I guess, I didn't really have, I guess it, I kind of had junior high and then high school, I guess. I guess sixth grade qualifies. I didn't really go to like a dedicated like middle school kind of thing, but um, but when I was I was in sixth grade, um, and I did sixth grade camp, and they wouldn't. I didn't really bring like towels. I brought some, but they weren't very big. And I brought a nice robe to wear um, <laughs> around the cabin, and then they told me for whatever reason that my I couldn't wear my robe. My robe was not regulation, um, and I didn't. And I was like. That's all, that's what I brought to wear. That's and so when we had to go to the showers, they they made us only use you can only use your towels. So I had this towel that was barely big enough to go around me, and I just looked like a moron, like walking around in this little towel. And I dropped it like eight times. So everyone saw my butt. It was embarrassing. Very dark day. Um, so that was my most embarrassing sixth grade moment. Uh, I wanted to die. Uh, but then high school. Let's see, what was embarrassing in high school? Uh, high school, I did a uh, monologue. I think it was a Shakespeare monologue. And then um, I think it was when... Uh, no, what was it? Was it Shakespeare? Maybe it was from a movie. It was either Shakespeare or Glengarry Glen Ross. I don't remember. But I went to uh, do the monologue and completely forgot. I, I had a late night and I forgot all the lines. And so it was a serious thing. I walked up on stage with a cane and I walked up and I went, I was like, hear me speak. And I say that I think, you know, whatever it was, speak the speech. I pray you as I pronounce it to you. And I couldn't think of the next line. And I had my cane and I just went. <laughs> and people were just looking at me like, what is, is this part of it? And I just like, I did tricks with the cane until I thought of the next line. Trippingly on the tongue. As I, and then I just kept continuing and half the crowd thought it was part of the show. Like, oh, he was trying to confuse us. Like in the monologue, he's doing like a trick. And, and that was half the crowd. And then the other half was, I didn't buy that. Screw you. You forgot your lines. You're an idiot. And so anyway, it was just this awkward thing. And I wanted to get out of the theater as fast as I could. 
Um, so, anyway, that's it. Oh, I got two things to say. <laughs> One, say hi to the WrestleMega 64 for me. Okay. And two, I'm the real food man now. Why? <laughs> How are you the real food man? What happened? How, what gives you that title? <laughs> Just because I'm the real food man now. Gotta accept it. Why do I accept that? Well, you prove it. I can't right now, but I'm the real food man. That's right. No, I'm. I, you might be the real food man, but I'm the original food man, and. Not the original, but you know, I'm the I'm the real food man. Okay. All right. Respect. The there's there's room for more than one, but there's nothing like the original baby. Woo! <laughs> See ya. Anyway. Bye. Okay. Is that all? Is that all for today? Hey, great to see you guys. Thanks hey, for calling in. Tell Sean and Garrett that I said hi. Okay, I'll do that. All right, you guys take it easy. Bye. Great talking to you. Bye. Great kids. Those guys were great. He's not the food man. He's not the food man. I was nice to him on the phone, but if he says that one more time. Okay.